waitress. Where's my order? Sorry, sir. I'm sure it's coming out soon. What? I ordered almost four minutes ago. Service in this place sucks. But, sir, it takes at least 15 minutes to bake a pizza. Cool. You people cannot deliver results. It's always excuses. There's a lot of people here today. We're understaffed. The cook is sick. Someone's having a heart attack. Well, boo-hoo. You said it takes 20 minutes to bake a pizza? I want it in 10. Make it happen. Well, I don't think that's possible, sir, but I'll go check. Yeah, so all these people have been calling my house and offering me drugs. Well, look who it is. If losers could fly, this place would be an airport. Wait. What? This place could... Did, did you say this an airport? This place could not be an airport. This isn't nearly big enough to be an airport. <laughs> you're, you're stupid. You're, you're, you're stupid. Are you always this stupid or are you just making a special effort today? God. Any slower, you'd be going in reverse. Hey, uh, asshole, where's A and B? Changed all oh, them? I dated them for almost a full week. I'll get a new A and B pretty soon. I like to change them up. Keep things fresh. Well, sir, I talked to the cook and he said, you can go fuck yourself. Well, you know what I think? I think being a waitress, you should just serve a nice plate of shut the fuck up. This is a shithole anyway. Catch you losers later. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> the, re the reverse on this, c this car is broken, so I, I can only go forward, which then, that means like I, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm making it. <laughs> he does this. It's, it's, it's pretty normal actually. It's. It's actually sort of frightening because he's my friend. Yeah, that is a little strange. I haven't seen you at school. Do you? Are you homeschooled or what? No, I, I do a lot of writing and writing classes. Well, I, I think I s do you do plays? I thought I saw you in one a while ago. Yeah, I do a lot of theater. Yeah, well, this has been great, but we actually sort of on a time schedule. We need to find. I'm, I'm doing this movie for video productions, and we need to find an actress for it. And we're like, really, guys, we need to go. Have done. Fail. We just need to leave. Wait a minute. You're an actress, and I need an actress. So how would you like to be in an amateur video production film with me as the director? Yeah, that'd be fun. So we're actually filming a scene tomorrow at the park at four o'clock. Could you make it? Sure. Okay. I'll, I'll see you there. The emergency exit. <laughs> Dad, you ready in there? No, I'm not coming out. This costume looks absolutely ridiculous. Come on, Chad, got something you might want. Maybe you want to come out and see what it is? Huh? You want to come out of your trailer? Huh? This trailer is hardly a trailer. It doesn't even have an adequate makeup shelf. But what is that? New episode of Firefly on DVD. Sure you don't want it? Does it have the bonus features? Of course it has the bonus features. Right, come on, Chad. I gave you Firefly. Time to come out of your trailer. Alright, fine. I'll be there in approximately five minutes. Now you better be. So, Doug, this is the first shot of the movie. First shot. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a wide shot right here of you. And you're going to be on this beanbag. A little deep. Simon, get the boom mic out of my face. We're not even filming, Simon. What are you doing? I thought the practice would be productive. I noticed you put your glasses on again. I am still in disapproval. What we established this morning. You can't see without your glasses. We almost hit three pedestrians on the way to school. I you know, I'm not putting the glasses back on. Done. <clears throat> what do you want now, Chad? I'm not wearing this. Come on, Chad. Don't you want to be in the movie? Get a big part? You know, as soon as you do this, the faster you can just go home and watch Firefly. 
something to consider. I will not be made a mockery of! I come from a long line of noble blood, dating back to the kings of England themselves. And this... Actually, you know, you're right, John. Okay, uh, let me... Th yeah, I've got... I think I have one piece of costume I can add. It'll just make your entire appearance a lot more dignified, you know. More, more suited, more suited to you. Just give me a sec. This hat makes you look more dignified? You are trying my patience. But it does add to the character, so I will concede. So, like I said, this is the first scene. You're a typical teenager. You're in your room, look, surfing the internet, and you're going to notice something's wrong in the room. You're going to point it out to your best friend, who's played by Duck. Okay, let's finally get some filming done. Take one! Damn it, Doug! Take two. Dude! Take three. Yo, I just. I don't know what this character's motivation is. He went. Take 41! I'm getting into ca. Tech nine. So, dude, did yeah, you wait, see wait, the wait. new video? Something. Mm. Hey, Jack! Hey, Jack! What? Jack, we're filming. All right. Uh, good day, filming guys. Uh, do the same thing tomorrow. Finally, ridiculous So, our two, our characters just narrowly escaped. So basically, now they're coming to one of their houses to try and inform the authorities. So they're going to run to this tree, well, unbeknownst to them, they're actually going to meet the scientist who created the block. Well, hold on a second. Wasn't I just a teenager in that last scene? Wouldn't it be inconsistent and confusing to the audience if I switched characters mid-movie? Chad, no one notices this kind of thing, so just minute details that professionals worry themselves about. You've got a different costume, it's a different scene, no one's going to notice, it's fine. I don't protest. It takes weeks, months to get into character. I haven't undertaken my proper mental exercises to get ready for this. I haven't even done my breathing preparations. <sighs> Chad, just say the fucking line, man. Hi. Hey, so, uh, yeah. uh, here's the thing. Can we film at your house? I thought we were filming at your house. Yeah, there's been a change of plans. I, I just assumed everything was alright. Scene, um, Simon and I's character is going to come to the door, you're going to answer it, and that's when the monster attacks. Okay. Instant drama. So I'm going to need that all shown on your face. Can you do that? Yes, I can. Why have you made me wear this? Look, Slamin, you're a police officer. This is this is your outfit. It's your character. It's green. And why am I overweight? Look, I don't know. You're you're a cop. You eat lots of donuts. That's why you're fat. And for the outfit, no one's gonna no one's gonna notice that that's not a uniform. Okay, it's fine. People don't notice those kind of things. For the record, I would just like you to know that I hate you, dearly. You gonna do something about those horses? I don't do horses, man. I do not do horses. A horse took my dad. You know what it's like growing up? You know what it's the kid whose dad got taken away by a horse? Do you? Do you? Okay, you know what you need to do, Brett Cameron? You stop being such a fucking pussy and get into character. I mean, we're already behind schedule. Foul one. I simply cannot work under such conditions. First of all, I do not have a trailer. I need a trailer to adequately prepare myself for my role and to undertake my breathing exercises. Second of all, I do not have my coffee. I am an Artur, Ethan, an Artur. I need my coffee to calm myself. <sighs> but I had none of these things. How do you expect me to act under such conditions? First of all, why are you such a whiny little bitch? And second, you're not even filming today. Why are you here? <sighs> I am here for directorial assistance, if you don't mind. And Doug, go get him his coffee. Just, just to show. Does he really need coffee? Yes, go get him coffee so he can just. He'll be quiet. 
Okay, so this is the final climactic scene where Brett, your character, is having the big showdown. Yeah, I'm liking the energy. The big showdown with the blob. Okay, stop it. Okay, yeah, so basically you're just going to have this epic battle with the blob. It's okay. going to be awesome. Okay, yeah. Get it, got it, good. Yeah, all right, you got it. Thank you. <laughs> you call this coffee? It's more like dirt mixed with water. It doesn't even have a half shard of vanilla in it. You know what? You know what, Chad? I'm tired of your crap. All you do is give me crap. I don't even know you. You know what, Chad? Fuck you. You know what? I gotta go ahead and change. I gotta delay filming thanks to you. Okay, whatever. We need to get this movie done. Simon, get up here with the camera. Okay, you, be over there, get ready to do your shot, and seeing as Doug isn't here, you're going to be the puppeteer for the gelatinous being. Okay, guys, let's get this done. Last scene. You guys finished the movie? Yep, it's done. Hey, Luke. Shut the fuck up! Go fuck your... Mr. Fajuli, I have our movie. Well, let's watch it now, shall we? Right, right now? Well, while we're here, won't that... Why not? Yeah, why not? It's gonna be awesome. <laughs>